Hello there, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.co.uk and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this rather grisly horror themed intro using just the standard tools you'll find in After Effects. Now I'm using After Effects CC for this video, but this effect should be compatible with versions as far back as CS3. Now I'll be splitting this into two parts and in this part I'll be covering how to create a bandage texture for the foreground along with the logo text and blood drops animation. So let's get started. First, create a new composition. As you can see, I'm using the HD PAL preset, set to 18 seconds long, and we'll call this Bandage Texture. Then create a new solid, and set the RGB values to 218, 212, and 202, and then hit OK. Now we're going to dirty it up a little by adding the fractal noise effect to your solid. In the effect controls panel, you can leave the default values pretty much as they are, but change the scale to 200, and set the opacity to 26% before setting the blending mode to darken. Next, we need to create our bandage texture. Of course, you could always skip this bit and just download an image from the internet, but as you know, I prefer to create everything in After Effects if possible. So, create a new composition that's the same duration as your bandage texture comp, but set it to 30 by 30 pixels, and we'll call this our texture tile. Now, I'm only going to cover the basics here to save time, but you can download the project file from my website if you get stuck. So to show you how this works, I'll quickly draw the center vertical. Now you don't want a stroke, so make sure that's off and set your fill color to white. Once you've drawn the layer, right click on it and select layer styles and pick the gradient overlay option. Now to get the centered gradient, twirl down the layer and gradient overlay properties and drop the opacity down to around 50% and select reflected from the style drop down menu. Then you can just duplicate the shape four times and nudge them into position and enable the gradient overlays reverse option for the ones that are sitting in the background. Now the horizontal shapes follow pretty much the same process. Only this time, set the gradient overlay angle to zero instead of 90. Now obviously, you'll need to play around with the layer order to get them looking right. Um, you may find holding down Control and Alt to nudge the layer up and down with the cursor keys may be of help here. Okay, so when you're happy, go back to your bandage texture composition and drag your texture tile into it. Uh, then bring up the scale value by hitting S with the layer selected and drop it down to 50%. Then go to your effects and presets panel and find the CC wrapper tile effect, or you can use the motion tile effect, which does pretty much the same thing, and add that to your texture tile. In the effect controls panel, hold down the shift key and drag the expand right value until the image extends to the edge of your frame. Then do the same thing for the left, down, and up values. And it should end up looking a bit like this. Which is great, but it's just a little too perfect to be convincing. So to fix that, find your turbulent displace effect and drag it onto your texture tile. Then in the effects and presets panel, Select Twist Smoother as the displacement type, dial down the amount to 18, and increase the size to 120. And finally, right click on your texture tile layer and open the blending mode options, then select Screen. And as you can see, this blends the texture layer into our background layer. So that's our bandage background created, now we just need to put something in it. So, Create a new composition that's the same duration and resolution as your bandage texture comp, 
and we'll call this one text placeholder. Now, as this is a procedural effect, you can put anything you like in here as long as it's transparent. So solid layers or images won't work, but text or transparent logo graphics will. I'm using impact as my font here, but obviously it's entirely up to you what you do. Um, just bear in mind that chunky typefaces and graphics will work better. The color doesn't matter as this will be changed later. When you're happy with your text or your logo, create a new shape layer, which we're going to use to dress the effect up a little with a few blood drops. Uh, just use your ellipse tool to draw as many drops as you like, wherever you want them to be. Then we're going to adjust the transparency value for each one so that they appear in sequence, just to give it that little sense of blood dripping onto the bandage. Now, the important thing to remember here is that we're using the transparency setting in the ellipse transform properties and not the transform properties of the layer itself. So create a new keyframe just before where you want the blood drop to appear and set it to zero. Then advance a couple of frames and create a new one that's 100%. Then repeat this process for all your remaining blood drops until you're happy with the look. Okay, so that's all we're going to do in this part. I know it looks just a little bit boring right now, but stick around for part two and we'll soon get that fixed. As always, I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Yeah.